Greenlight Energy Solutions presents a model of the Waste Conversion Pyrolysis Facility designed for processing municipal solid waste. The facility comprises the following main elements. Sorting line, dryer, storage bin, reactor, main burner, oxidizer, and a cleaning system. Municipal waste is conveyed to the system through a pre-processing line. The waste initially passes through a sorting line to pull out ferrous materials by means of magnetic separators and to filter out glass and concrete, materials that are not suitable for pyrolysis. The remaining waste is chipped in the shredder and passed to the drying chamber. In the dryer, the waste materials are exposed to the thermal factor allowing for reduction of the moisture content in the material. The properly prepared waste is collected in a storage bin. Transporting conveyor moves the waste materials from the storage bin up to the reactor feeding unit where they pass through a hatch. The hatch allows for dosed supply of the waste and prevents the air and oxygen from entering the reactor. The waste is conveyed off the hatch by means of a screw conveyor driven by a gear motor. The pyrolysis process takes place in specifically designed pyrolytic chamber, a retort. The retort is heated up indirectly by burners located on its both sides, providing even heating of the material and flexibility in process control. The waste is heated upon the contact with retort walls up to 850 degrees centigrade. The waste is moved along the retort by screw conveyors. Specific design of these conveyors allows for effective thermal transmission from retort walls to the waste materials and their additional mixing and also prevents adhesion of the waste. While heated, the waste is reduced to syngas and solid residue. The solid residue is then driven off into the storage bin. Syngas is mixed with air in the main burner and directed to the oxidizer for further degradation. Thermal oxidizer operates under 1200 degrees centigrade and transforms syngas into carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides and water vapor. A part of the oxidized gases together with the retort flue gases are heat exchanged to a waste heat boiler to generate steam. Another part of the oxidized gases is utilized in heating up the retort. Off gases are filtered in a multi-stage depuration system to be released environmentally safe into the environment. The production capacity of the facility is 125 tons per day 